Welcome, everyone, from the desert, bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of Readings. From a homily on Joshua by Origen, priest. The Crossing of the Jordan. The Ark of the Covenant led the people of God across the Jordan. The priests and the Levites halted, and the waters, as though out of reverence to the ministers of God, stopped flowing. They piled up in a single mass, thus allowing the people of God to cross in safety. As a Christian, you should not be amazed to hear of these wonders performed for men of the past. The Divine Word promises much greater and more lofty things to you who have passed through Jordan's stream by the sacrament of baptism. He promises you a passage even through the sky. So, you must not think that these events belong only to the past, and that you, who now hear the account of them, do not experience anything of the kind. It is in you that they all find their spiritual fulfillment. You have recently abandoned the darkness of idolatry, and now you desire to come and hear the divine law. This is your departure from Egypt. When you became a catechumen and began to obey the laws of the church, you passed through the Red Sea. Now, at the various stops in the desert, you give time every day to hear the law of God and to see 
the face of Moses, unveiled by the glory of God. But once you come to the baptismal font and in the presence of the priests and deacons are initiated into those sacred and august mysteries which only those know who should Then, through the ministry of the priests, you will cross the Jordan and enter the promised land. There, Moses will hand you over to Jesus and he himself will be your guide on your new journey. From the Desert With Desert Faith, this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively each and every syllable, word, and sentence, all. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen.